What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an in-depth comparison between the Jackal Flash and the Jackal Ghost. Stay tuned after the intro. So right now the Jackal Flash dominates when it comes to creating shape down lane for an asymmetrical ball. Before the Jackal Flash though, it was the Jackal Ghost that reigned supreme over creating shape for the big ASIM cores. Before we get started in the video, if you guys like this video and want to see more content like this in future, make sure to give me a like, a subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date every time I drop a new video. 70% of my total views are coming from non-subscribers, so guys, please keep hitting that subscribe button. And if you like this jersey or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, you can head on over to logoinfusion.com, use my promo code LEWIS, and that'll get you 20% off your entire order. So the Jackal Ghost and the Jackal Flash are two of Moda's greatest asymmetrical balls. Both of them happen to be on my top six balls of all time. So the one big thing that the Jackal Flash and the Jackal Ghost have in common is that they both share the Predator V2 core, which in 15 pounds has an RG of 2.47, a differential of 0.054, and an intermediate differential of 0.015. So what that means for the Ghost and the Flash is that the core wants to get into a roll very early and it's gonna have a very high hook potential because of that very high differential. So being that both balls have the same core, the big difference that you're gonna notice is gonna be in the cover. The Jackal Ghost has the coercion high friction solid cover that comes out of box at a 3000 laser scan sand. In this video, however, the Jackal Ghost is finished at a 4000 laser scan sand just because the bowling center I'm, I'm bowling at hooks a ton and I didn't need all that extra surface. Now the cover on the Jackal Ghost or the Jackal Ghost in general for me was always that ball that I went to when I needed to clear the fronts and create shape down lane. Now it's not gonna clear the fronts like a pearl does, but for a solid, it is very clean and it creates a considerable amount of angle, especially compared to other asymmetrical solids that we've had in the past. The Jackal Flash, on the other hand, has the Infusion HV Pearl cover that comes out of box at a 5000 laser scan polish. Now, it is hilarious how much more shape the Jackal Flash creates than the Jackal Ghost. And for me, the Ghost was always that go-to ball, like I said, when I needed to create that motion down lane. When you combine that Predator V2 core with that Infusion Pearl cover, oh man, this ball is really good. Basically, anytime that I need to get the ball into the friction from pretty much anywhere on the lane, this is my absolute go-to ball. And it's no secret why both of these balls are both in my top six. Comment down below and let me know if you guys have either the Jackal Ghost or the Jackal Flash or both and let me know what you guys think of them. I'm going to take you guys on on the lanes now so you can see the Jackal Flash and the Jackal Ghost in action. Thank you so much for joining me for this in-depth comparison between the Jackal Flash and the Jackal Ghost. Now, as always, I'm going to show you every single shot I threw in this session, the good shots and the bad, the strikes and the non-strikes, because like I've always said, it is the only way to show you a true comparison between two bowling balls. It's all too easy to make every single bowling ball look amazing if I'm only showing you the strikes. Now, this is a comparison that a lot of people have been asking for, and to be honest, it's a comparison that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. Both of these balls are absolute staples in my bag. Now, as we get started in this comparison, one of the things that you're going to notice right away is just how much earlier the Jackal Ghost is when compared to the Jackal Flash. But the one thing that I am seeing out of this Jackal Ghost that I really like is that while it is significantly earlier than the Jackal Flash, it's still creating quite some shape, especially when you think that it's an asymmetrical solid bowling ball. Now, obviously to start, I was way too far to the right, especially with the Ghost. As we go through this video, I chase it further inside the pattern. One of the things that you can notice as well, especially bowling in this bowling center, is that there's not a lot of volume in the middle part of the lane. So some of the shots with the Jackal Ghost where I miss in, the ball has absolutely no chance, especially because it is a solid and it has a little bit of surface being that 4,000 grid Avalon that I hit it with. The Jackal Flash, on the other hand, it has a little bit more forgiveness when I miss in because it is a pearl and because it has that polish. Now, if we were bowling on a higher volume pattern, the Jackal Ghost, those misses in would be a little bit more forgiving because there is that oil. One of the things that I didn't mention in the intro is that both of these balls have the same layout. They are both laid out 45 by four and three quarters by 20. 
The Jackal Flash for me in league has been an absolute home run. It's that ball that I can throw it into the friction and I trust that it's gonna come around the corner and go through the pins. But if I miss left in the soup, because it is a big asymmetrical core, it still handles that volume quite well. Now, the reason I tend not to throw asymmetrical solids in lead, just because there's already so much friction to the right, I don't wanna blow up the pattern any faster than I need to. The Jackal Ghost for me has always been one of the most versatile balls, if not the most versatile ball that I've always thrown. It's with me at every single tournament I go to, no matter the pattern. It's always been in the top at least three for me of all time. And let me tell you, this Jackal Flash is quickly climbing the charts. The one thing that I wanna do next is maybe compare the Jackal Flash to the Ghost where they both have surface because I think that's gonna be a very critical um, comparison. I'm wondering if the Jackal Flash with the surface is going to shape as much as the Jackal Ghost or vice versa while they both have the same surface. If you have either the Jackal Flash or the Jackal Ghost in your bag, comment down below what your favorite surface is and why. So anyone that knows me personally knows that the absolute weakest part of my game is when I got to get really far left like I am right now and create a lot of shape through the fronts like I'm doing right now. The fact that both of these balls allow me to do that and still go through the pins the right way give me so much confidence. Now, one of the questions I get asked a lot in a lot of these comparison videos is, are they different enough to warrant having both of them in the bag? And the short answer is yes, they are different enough that you can have both of them in the bag as long as you maintain two different surfaces on the bowling ball. For example, if you have the Ghost, I would recommend keeping it at that box finish of 3000, maybe even 2000, and then keeping the factory polish on the Jackal Flash just to make sure that they are even more different so that you can have something like the ghost where it'll be a little bit earlier a little bit smoother and then as you need to get even further left you can go into the jackal flash and trust that it's going to create that angle down lane that you're looking for now obviously my opinion is a little biased because i am on motive staff but it is my opinion and i truly believe this that these jackals that we have are the absolute best asymmetrical balls on the market. I don't care what brand we're talking about. Now for me, one really big thing when suggesting a bowling ball to someone is I always ask them what their eyes like to see. If you like to see your ball hockey stick down shape, then you're gonna go towards the jack of flash. Now, if you're someone who likes to see a little bit earlier rolling ball that's a little bit smoother, you're going to go towards the Jackal Ghost. For me personally, I've always liked those smoother rolling balls, which is why I've always leaned towards the Jackal Ghost historically. But like I said earlier, this Jackal Flash is special. I have been throwing this nonstop and it is, like I said earlier, quickly, quick, fast and in a hurry climbing the charts as one of my favorite bowling balls of all time. Now, I've always said that what keeps a bowling ball in my bag for the long term is versatility. Now, the versatility question for the Jackal Ghost is easy. It's been in my bag for years, easily one of the most versatile balls that I've ever thrown. It's really good when there's high volume and I got to play more up the lane. And like you're seeing right now, it's really good when I got to get left and create a lot of shape through the fronts. Now, when the versatility question comes up with the Jackal Flash, the answer is more of the same. It's very, very versatile. If you look back at my surface video with the Jackal Flash, the ball takes extremely well to surface all the way down to 500 and through polish. I cannot imagine a scenario where the Jackal Flash or the Jackal Ghost come out of my tournament bag for a, a very, very long time. This was truly a comparison between two Titans. And I would really appreciate if you guys comment down below and let me know which one of these two bowling balls do you think looked best for me and why. Well, there you have it, folks. There's my in-depth comparison between the Jackal Flash and the Jackal Ghost. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought about this video. And if you want to see more comparisons like this in the future, click right here to watch one of my other videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time, guys.